Hey there, everybody. My name's Nathan Elson, and today I'm going to take you through my brand new Capture One Styles Collection Version 5 pack. And you know what? Rather than talk about what it is, let's just jump into Capture One and I will show you what it can do. All right, so here we are in Capture One, and I'm going to take you through a variety of images that I've shot over the last little while. And I'm going to show you how I use this new style pack to color grade these images. Now, for this first image here, I've really fallen in love with shooting against white backdrops that fall to a light slash medium gray. I just, I find there's so much that you can do with it in terms of color, black and white, everything else. So for this first image here, one of the ways that I really like to grade these images is with this number one style. Now it just cools things off, but it still gives our skin tones that great feel. It just makes the image feel a little bit more editorial. Now, if we come down to number two, again, that's just a little bit warmer version of this, but I prefer number one on this. I think if I just apply this, it just gives me just this before and after. It's just a great editorial vibe. But when I shot this image, I was thinking black and white. So I'm going to take that off and I'm going to come down to this black and white number five. And when I click on that, so again, this is the before and this is the after. And it's basically done. I mean, this is this is everything I love about black and white. This is every tone in the entire monochrome scale. It's just beautiful. And I love the way these styles work. I'm really known for black and white work, but I've kind of changed my approach to it and how I grade it. So that's where this new pack is coming into play. Now, if we come up here and we've got another image from this same shoot, but this time let's actually come in here and let's make this a color image. But one thing you can do with the color styles that you cannot do with the black and white is you can apply them as their own layer. So if I right click on this and I apply to a new layer, when I come up to my adjustments, it's now on its own layer and I can turn it off and I can turn it back on. But not only that, if I find that I like the way the color grade looks, but it feels a little bit heavy, I can actually come up to my opacity. I can dial it down just a little bit or as much as you want really, and that gives you your before and after. Again, just one click, and it just makes everything so clean. So let's come up into this image here. This is a natural light image. And so what I'm gonna do with this one, again, shot on white, like I said, it's just something that I've fallen in love with lately. But if I come back up into my styles and I select this number two and I click on that, it just, the image is almost, done at this point. Again, I'll just give you a before and an after. It just brings out the contrast without making it feel like it's overdone. It keeps great skin tones, the colors pop, everything just looks, it looks like it should if you were going to shoot, you know, an editorial style of image. But I'm gonna take that off and I'm gonna come down to this black and white number three and I'm gonna click on that and again, just with this whole approach that I have now to black and white, it's. It's a lot more subtle. The tones are a lot more creamy. You're not losing anything in the shadows. You're not losing anything in highlights. Everything that I'm creating is just meant to bring out all of the tones of your images so that you get this beautiful transition from your highlights to your shadows. So let's, uh, let's go outside here. Let's just click on this image. Now, this image, it's a little bit underexposed. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up into my adjustments and I'm just gonna bump up the exposure a little bit just to bring this up to a proper exposure. Now I'm gonna come over to my styles and this is where having that ability to apply it as a new layer works really, really great. So I'm just gonna come down to this number four. I'm gonna select and apply to a new layer. So what that's doing now is it's applying over top of the adjustments that I've made. So on this bottom layer, I'm still having the proper exposure now dialed in and the top layer isn't affecting that in any way. So I'm just gonna bring down the opacity on this a touch here. And again, just beautiful warm tones. So if we come to a before and an after, a couple of quick clicks and this is where you end up. So that's what I'm talking about with this style pack is it's just, it's got a lot of versatility to it which I quite enjoy. Now, another thing to keep in mind when you're doing any type of color grading is that your white balance matters. So if your image isn't properly white balanced, you can get improper results with your color grade. So always make sure that your white balance is on point before you start color grading. Now on these ones, they're a little bit warm because the camera was still in 5300 Kelvin, which is what I use when I'm shooting strobe, but 
On this, we ended up switching over to natural light and I didn't make the adjustment. So the white balance is a little bit warmer than it needs to be. So I'm just going to come in here and I'm just going to quickly adjust for the white balance. And now I'm going to apply my style. Now, again, with this, we could go a couple of different ways. We could go into that color variation. Again, I think with this style, it looks great. Uh, but I'm going to come down. Let's just do some black and white. Number five looks great. Now these two images here, they're a little bit brighter. So I'm just gonna quickly come over. I'm going to select that one. And I'm just gonna bring my brightness down just a touch. Same with this one. Bring the brightness down just a touch. And there you go. You've got three perfectly color graded black and white images in a couple of clicks. So now that we've seen kind of the cooler tones, a little bit of the warm tones and the black and white, there's a few other images I wanna show you here. Uh, this set here was one that I recently released and everyone was asking me about the color toning on these images. So rather than go through an entire process of color grading, I've just turned it into a style. And if I just come over here and I click on this number five, if I give you a before and an after, you can see just how beautiful the warm tones are that fall into this color grade. Now, if I just select the rest of these, and again, I just go with that number five, just the before and the after, it's done. These images are done. And it's the same idea if I come over to this lighting here, which is just, it's a slightly different light setup, but I still wanted that same warm vibe. So if I come over and I click on that number five there, just do a before and an after, again, warm tones, but it still keeps your skin tones and everything like that where you want them to be. Just beautiful color grading. All right, last few images here. So if we come over to these images here, again, with the wet hair, I just wanted everything to feel a little bit cooler, a little bit more editorial. So if I come over to my number one and I click on that, boom, done. That's as hard as this gets. Now, again, same idea with the lighting, but... I didn't want this one, she's not wet. I didn't want it to feel cold. So if I come over to this number two version, so this is the number one, this is the number two, click on that, before, after. And again, if I just come in and zoom in on her face, before, after. You're not getting any crazy clarity. You're not getting any heavy contrast. You're just getting really clean color grades. Now, in terms of the adjustments that go into these styles. I typically create them so that they're one click and you're done. I adjust the contrast, I do my highlights, my shadows, my blacks, my whites, everything else, but that doesn't always work for what people are looking for. So as I said, there's these CO versions of these styles and what that means is color only. So say you've got an image that's already retouched and you just want to play with the color grade on it a little bit. So let's come in here and if we select, you know, this number one, if we clicked on that, if we look at the before and the after, there's all this additional contrast. There's all of this additional, you know, highlight and shadow work that's happening. It's changing the entire look of the image. So if I take that off and I just apply the color only version. Now, when I do a before and an after, nothing has changed on the retouch. It's just the color grade that has been changed. So if we come up into our adjustments here, I put this on its own folder. If I bring this down just a little bit, I just want to change the tone of touch and done. All right, so there you guys go. Hopefully you enjoy this collection as much as I do. If you are using it and you're posting on Instagram, make sure you use the hashtag NathanElsonC1 so that I can see what all of you are creating with these styles. But with that, if you have any comments or questions, use the comments box down below. That's what it's there for. And as always, thank you guys so much for being here. I appreciate you and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.